Hello foodie, I wish you a healthy day and enjoy and cookery. Today I will cook the fish with fresh tomato sauce. Now I'm on my motorbike going back home to prepare cooking the dish. So I hope you enjoy and learn something new from my recipe. Here the fish I bought from market. I even can ask the seller to clean everything for me. But I want to show you how to do this. To cut the fin and the tail. It's very hard work actually but at the market the seller they do very quick. Because they do that every day. So it looks very easy when they do it but for me it looks a bit hard. So you have to use the scissor to do this easier than use the knife. I do mostly cook the fish at the smaller one. It is the big one so you need to do more stuff. For smaller one you just cut the view and take the view off then you can cook but for this one you have to do many things now I cut the view cover and then take off the view the fish still open the eyes normally I just odd but already make so they do everything for you already so you just clean and cook now I need to use my hand to take off the view this fun <laughs> and also they cut along like this to take off all the testing inside this fish is very hard actually very tough to cut here you see it's black and they have the he has the egg in and here's my little dog he just stay here <laughs> looking at me doing stuff now I brush the scab just use a knife like this and brush all the scale We also do the deep fry fish, only deep fry and dip in the fish sauce. So when we do like that, we just leave the scale. And after cleaning, it's ready here. Ready for cooking. Now we slice the onion for the fish. We just use uh, one fourth of the onion. Do not use all eh? and just thin slice. And also a shallot. Thin slice the shallot and then dice. Chop the salad very, very small. And for the fish, I do six tomato, about 500 gram. And you need to choose the fresh tomato 
with like a more red and then just cut it in half and then take the white part then you slice about four pieces, small pieces Some people they can do this like a very small so they just chop it small but I just slice like this. Some fresh chili. So depend on your prefer you can add more or less chili. And a spring onion. Always as well. The spring onion will not cook, you just add it on the top for flavor so here's this now you deep fry the fish so I use the oil to cover at least half of the fish to save the oil you can also do more oil and you need to check until it hard boil I use chopstick to check to make sure the oil is hard boil enough and you also can see the smoke is coming up now you add the fish in and I deep fry one side about 5 minutes you have to remember that you have to leave the fish cook one side well and then you turn other side therefore the meat is not stick in the pan I have more chicken here for my next video <laughs> so after 5 minutes I turn the fish upside down so I prefer the fish to cook like this not too much but if you prefer crispy you can cook longer so you get the fish get light brown color but I just want to keep the meat juicy. And after 5 minutes again, I take off the fish. We wait a bit for the oil to drop off. Here the fish I prefer to cook like this, not too crispy. So, uh for this one we eat with rice so uh, I add some salt now on the top of the fish to make sure later when we cook it get all full flavor to eat with rice later but if you don't uh, eat it with rice you should not uh, put the salt on so I just want to make sure it get a bit more salty and I don't want to keep it uh, in the steeping sauce too long later so sun bear <laughs> now I gonna cook the fish with tomato so I add some oil and garlic so about two tablespoons of oil and some garlic also some shallot and just wait for it to get in light brown or get nice smell add also the onion in And now tomato and fresh chili. So the spring onion you add in the end on top. So you not cook the spring onion. Now you just stir the tomato. And waiting for it soft. And while waiting for the tomato to get soft, you need to add some water if it's dry. So you can add some hot water when you see it nearly dry to make sure it, the sauce is not too dry. So now a cup of water. You stir a bit and wait. So you add some of the sauce. Some stock, the chicken stock or pork stock if you have. And some sugar. Some fish sauce. So if you not like the fish sauce in this sauce, so you can leave it. You can add 
soy sauce instead but fish sauce is always in my cooking some black pepper, some chili powder extra spicy and when stir and waiting for it soft you can take off the skin of tomato because it's hard to digest it, so you not eat it later but if you don't do this step later when you eat the tomato you don't eat the skin but it's not good it's hard to get digest in your stomach and you will do until the tomato gets soft and you add the fish in so for the fish I should leave it about 3 minutes for one side and as I told you before I prefer the fish like this so the meat is juicy I didn't fry it crispy so if you prefer crispy meat you can fry the fish before more brown so it get more crispy but I prefer this way so it's juicy and after 3 minutes I turn upside down and wait for about 3 minutes more so you also can use the spoon to pour the sauce on the fish to make sure the fish get all the sauce and after 3 minutes you turn it off and it's ready So now you just leave the medium heat It's ready now You see Now I pour all the tomato On the fish And add the spring onion on top And enjoy it with rice it has nice flavor so thank you for stay connect with Ang Cookery I hope you enjoy it and can make it at home like what I do so thank you and see you in the next video